Did you know that examining your eyes can tell you more than just your vision? Hi there, I'm Dr. Audrey Tai, a board certified and fellowship trained refractive and cataract surgeon, an ophthalmologist and cornea specialist. And today I'm here to tell you about signs both in and around your eyes, some of which are only visible to your eye doctor and some of which you can see in the mirror that may be clues to your risk of heart disease or vascular disease. Let's get right to the important findings that you or your eye doctor may notice and what they could mean. Finding number one, yellow bumps around the eyes. Yellow bumps around the eyes are called xanthelasmas. These yellow bumps are made out of cholesterol that may appear as we age. They're often seen on or around the eyelids and may be especially prominent towards the middle of the face. These yellow bumps, xanthelasmas, do not affect your vision and are not painful. So why are they important? Well, they're important because if you see these yellow bumps around your eyes, you may have high levels of triglycerides or LDL cholesterol in your blood, and it could even be a sign that you have a genetic disorder that causes abnormal lipid levels such as familial hypocholesterolemia, which is a genetic cause of high LDL cholesterol. If you have these yellow bumps, xanthelasmas, there's no need to panic. Approximately half of the people who have them have normal lipid levels. But if you do have them, be sure to speak with your primary care doctor or cardiologist and get a cholesterol and triglyceride blood test called a lipid profile, especially if you have other risk factors for heart disease or family history of early heart disease. If you are not sure what you have or xanthelasmus or not, you can consult with your primary care doctor or your ophthalmologist and we will be happy to help you figure it out. Finding number two, the pulsating pupil. Did you know that if your pupils get bigger and smaller with your heartbeat, that could be a sign of a leaky heart valve. This is because when blood is pumped out of your heart through a valve called the aortic valve, if the valve does not close tightly, some blood leaks backwards into the heart. This causes a large difference than normal between your blood pressure when your heart is contracting and your blood pressure when your heart is relaxing. People who have this will see an unusual large distance between the top and bottom numbers in their blood pressure readings. If the valve is very leaky, the exaggerated difference in blood pressures in the blood vessels of the iris, the colored part of the eye that surrounds the pupil, causes the pupil to appear to pulsate in time with the heartbeat. When the heart contracts, the pupil gets smaller and when the heart relaxes, the pupil gets larger. The medical term for this is Landolfi sign. So if you think your pupils are pulsating, you should see your primary care doctor or cardiologist right away. And if you're not sure, you can also consult your eye doctor who will help you determine if you have this finding. Finding number three, retinal changes due to early diabetes or hypertension. Now this one, only your eye doctor will be able to see. You cannot see this one in the mirror. So it is very important to have regular eye exams, particularly if you're over age 40, have diabetes, or have any risk factors for heart disease or vascular disease. It is well known that both diabetes and high blood pressure can seriously increase your risk of heart disease or vascular disease even heart attacks and strokes. What you may not know is that sometimes the earliest sign of diabetes or poorly controlled high blood pressure can be seen on an eye exam. While your eye doctor will not be able to be treating you for diabetes or high blood pressure, they may be able to detect early damage to the tiny blood vessels on the retina in the back of the eye. This damage could be a sign of diabetes or high blood pressure and could help predict your risk of heart disease or vascular disease. If you have undiagnosed diabetes, over time, the high blood sugar can damage the walls of the blood vessels supplying the retina, causing them to leak fluid into the surrounding retinal tissue. This is called diabetic retinopathy Likewise, poorly controlled high blood pressure can also damage retinal arteries, causing them to narrow, thicken, or bleed into the retina. These findings can be seen by your eye doctor on the eye exam or special pictures of your retina called OCT, and sometimes are the first signs that you have high blood pressure, diabetes, or increased risk of heart disease. Since early on, both high blood pressure and diabetes may be silent and not have any symptoms that you can notice. I hope this video helps you learn more about signs of heart disease in and around your eyes so that you can reduce your risk of developing serious cardiovascular disease. If you have learned anything new, please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any informative content on eye health and surgery. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn at Dr. Audrey Tai to learn more about my practice. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.